The World Mental Health Day, observed every year on October 10, aims to create awareness about mental health issues around the world. The day also provides a platform and opportunity for people who work on mental health issues to talk about their work and what needs to be done to make mental health care a reality for citizens around the world. With the COVID-19 pandemic changing our lives considerably, mental health has become even more important. Uh, we're now joined uh, by Veronica Eze, the Chief Nursing Officer, Yaba Psychiatric Hospital and the President, Adike Rehabilitation Home. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Um, could you talk to us um, about this year's Mental uh, Health Day? How important is it that it should be observed? Today is a wonderful day. We see increase in investment in mental health. We appreciate the world that it's come in a time like this when the whole world is going through devastating period, ranging from lockdown that came with different vices and pains with them, like rape, depression, suicide, and so on. So we want people to be aware of themselves and how to manage their mental state when time like this comes. A lot of people does not have insight on mental illness. They thought it's meant for one particular set of people. No, anybody could be challenged. And we use this medium to tell the public that whenever they have problem relating to mental problem or psychological problem, they should seek for counsel early in life. They should seek for cancel so that it does not degenerate to period when they will be admitted. Has there been Nigeria, an increase? Right, has there been an increase um, way more than expected with this pandemic? And what do you think is being, or rather, uh, what is being done to address it? Do you think it's enough? There has been increase. And what has been done to address it is not really enough. But people are trying their best in time of advocacy. A lot of people has come up to create awareness for people to understand their state and know what to do and where to seek for help in time of distress, in time of breakdown, sleeplessness, or family disharmony. It's really working out, but it's not enough. I tell you, the, the rate of admission on drug use, depression, suicide, suicide-related cases is really, really in increase. But generally, we want the public to take charge of their own health and seek for care early before it degenerates to a period where they'll be spending so much money. What common counsel could do? You spend so much money in treatment, and that is needs, reason for advocacy. I appreciate the the Yaba Psychiatric Hospital, where they have voice of Yaba telling people a lot of things they need to know about their health. The Mental Health Forum, Lagos State, they are doing wonderfully well. And some NGOs that are really working, but for we that are working for the street patients, uh, we are also trying our best, trying in the community, creating awareness, both in the marketplace and the churches, for people to know what the signs of mental illnesses are. And How, far would, you say we've come? How far would you say we've come? How far would you say we've come with the addressing the challenge of stigmatization? Oh, a lot needs to be done, but much has not been achieved because of our culture. Our culture is so much fishy that once you have mental illness, nobody should come close to you, and that is not a fact. Or when you have mental illness. Uh, you cannot be productive. That is fallacy. Because of all that is involved in the issue of mental illness, is affecting people, the people with mental illness, from assessing care or assessing love and support or even gaining employment. The stigmatization is so bad that even those on the street who want to come and beg for food or arm. Nobody wants to attend to them because they believe what they are going through is as a result of punishment they have incurred from the girls, which is not right. We are using this medium to tell everybody that these people on the street or the mentally ill patient, even those that have family, they need our love, 
They need our care. They need our support. It is not their making at all, at all. Some are inherited and some are due to psychological trauma, which was beyond their own control. Some of them too was as a result of past traumatic experience which they are struggling to battle with. We, they need our support to fight it. And some are say, a result of biological and chemical imbalances in the system. Such person, what we should do, or he, you cannot help it when your uh, serotonin or, or dopamine is in excess or low. You are not in control of it. The, the neurotransmitter function when they want, but due to some facts that must have irritated it, it will be in excess or lower. Or somebody that is suffering from malaria, suddenly if it's not well managed and you have too uh, severe paresia, that, that is a temperature that could irritate the brain, you can see that anybody could be a mentally ill patient, except you manage yourself very well. Of course, How? when we took when we take statistics, we find out that almost everybody is at the verge of breaking down. If you have a good uh, social support, you don't have good marital support, you might not have the finance to meet up with your needs in life, or you are facing challenge of health. All this will come down or might lead to mental illness if it's not well managed. How then, accessible, if you have uh, everything. Veronica, how accessible really is counseling um, outside of Lagos across Nigeria? Do you have any idea if people have access to counselors, to facilities, and do they use it? Ma, I will tell you that Lagos is super when it comes to that, but outside Lagos, at least the few states I know of, no much is on ground. That is one. And the uses, many people are not really tapping into the opportunity given to them. Like mental, like a mental health forum, we have a, a group of yes, we can group where we made it open that people should come up with their problem. We have doctors, we have psychologists, we have different professionals that are willing and ready. But you find out that people hardly even call, except you call them or you, you direct them. And in Yaba Psychiatric Hospital, many psychologists are willing, willing without even paying them because a lot of programs we organize, they don't even take cover from us. They want to put in their best for the society. And I know Lagos State also have uh, uh, sessions where people could go and seek counsel or run to in time of uh, distress. But the, the assessment uh, cannot be... I'm sorry to interject, uh, ready. but that's the much time will permit us uh, on this conversation. We hope to talk to you uh, more subsequently. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Thank you, ma'am.